The scapula releases. The scapula is this is the shoulder blade. It's a big flat blade here. Right here is the shoulder socket, you know, where the sh where our shoulder is. Then we have the the humerus right here. Then we have the elbow here. And then we have did you stop fussing around? Act your age. Act, act old. Come here. So, so we have the um this is the shoulder blade. This is the elbow. I'm not being facetious. This is the <laughs> And then we have the forearm, and then we have the knees are, is the wrist, the carpus, okay? So the scapula is where the shoulder blade is here, I mean the shoulder joint. The scapula is this big bone, it, 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 it's only attached to the body by soft tissue. There's no joint between the scapula and the body, okay? What we're doing with the scapula releases is we're asking the scapula to drop, to let go. It's not a stretch, it's the horse has to relax these muscles so the scapula just drops about an inch. So we're going to ask him to drop it down and back and then down and forward. When you're, when you're dropping the scapula down and back, you want to face forward and bring it towards you. It's easier to bring, to bring it towards you than push it away from you. So I'm going to start by facing forward. Keep your head up here for a minute. And I'm going to pick up his foot. Come toe. And I'm going to hold his ankle in my hand, okay? Like this. Now, I do it on my knee because it's easier on my back. Well, actually, I got to take this out and hook it on my pocket because maybe there. I'll do it on my knee, but you don't have to do it on your knee. You can do it standing and then and squat down and guide it down. So, give me your toe, buddy. And you're going to hold one hand on his ankle and the other on his knee. And I'm going to, as after he relaxes here, I'm going to um, slowly straighten his leg with the knee and guide his toe down to here. What I'm looking for is a drop. So. As he relaxes, right there. See it kind of drop before he set it down? It's okay if he steps down on it as long as he lets it go first. That's the trick. The key is letting it go. Um, does somebody want to hold him so that I'm going to do it again? So, Because I'm, I'm paying more, more attention to him walking around than I am to showing this. So I'm going to ask for his little toe. If you're used to picking up the foot this way, you can do it and then turn around. Don't hold him by the foot, hold him by the ankle, okay? So his foot's kind of hanging. Now, you can massage the flexors, you can rotate the hoof, you can get things loosened up, whatever, or you can just go straight to the release. Put your hand on his knee and watch up here. As I straighten his leg with the knee and guide his foot back, if he starts to step on it, I'll lift up, but I'm feeling for him to let that, he's pulling up, that's okay, support it until he relaxes through, through that point. Right, wait for him to let it go, there. Did you see him let it go? It's only an inch, and you'll feel it too, right there. Now I'm gonna rest his toe on the ground. That's the, go, go with him? Yeah, because I'm in the way. Oh. There, so he just let it go again. So show us the point where you're now visualizing him. The point of his shoulder. Yeah, I'm just making sure that was it, because that's yeah. where I saw the most movement drop. Does that make sense to everybody? It's not a stretch. You don't want to pull his leg back. If he actually starts to pull up, you want to go with him. So he'll, and then when he relaxes, you guide it down through that, that point of restriction.